Now, there are two common themes in Progressive House, two main primary sources of interest. And in this tutorial, I'm going to point out some key ideas you can use to help reinforce these primary sources of interest. First of all, emotion. If your progressive house doesn't have any emotion behind it, if it doesn't make you or somebody else feel something, then in my opinion, at least it's kind of failed. I mean, it's all well and good making a dance track that gets people moving, but if there's no emotional component to your track, in my opinion, it's not progressive house. It may be tech house or techno. So it needs emotion. What can you use to help reinforce the emotion in your track? The main way is the use of harmony, the use of different musical notes, either in chords or chords plus melodies or multiple melodies, different musical notes combined in different ways to evoke different feelings. See how the harmony controls the emotion, but there are some additional things you can consider too, such as vocals or vocal based sound effects or synths, and also reverb. I'll show you how I made this in a later tutorial, but notice how much this particular component carries the emotion. I'll do a before and after. Before. Pretty good, pretty good, but even better with this. Fantastic, and now the other primary source of interest, the other common theme in Progressive House is the journey, the journey through a long track. Progressive house tracks are long, they're six to nine minutes on average, some of them longer, and the way the track takes you on a journey over those six to nine minutes is a source of interest in this particular genre. It's almost like you're telling a story, and the way I see it, there are three main ideas you can use to enhance this particular theme. First of all, teasing concepts. So you can see this is the main chord progression. You can see there's a, a certain shape there. Notice that chord idea is teased before the breakdown, but not in full, it's just teasing the idea. And also in these chords, it's still kind of teasing the main chord progression. If you're really good at music theory, you may be able to spot it visually, but otherwise, chances are you could hear it when you were hearing the track. But it's all teasing idea, it's introducing an idea early, that then gets fully explained later on, so it's a bit of a journey. Another idea to reinforce this journey is automation, so there's a lot of automation in this particular genre. Again here you can see lots of automation. And finally the other concept you can use when taking someone on a journey is macro dynamics. The difference in level or the difference in volume at different points in the track. Typically you may have it very quiet in the breakdown, and then it will rise up in volume. This is the quiet breakdown section. And then it all opens up. But it's not only big macro dynamics you want to consider, say, between a breakdown and the main climactic section, but also the overall level of sound between different main sections. For example, the first half of main section over here is about a dB quieter than on the right. A dB may not be much, it's in fact very subtle indeed, but it does mean the section on the right 
is more exciting than the, or more energetic than the initial intro section. And there you have it, the common themes in Progressive House and some things to think about.